This chapter focuses on the concept of prudence. Um, prudence basically means that you cannot hide losses. You must never overvalue assets. And it's the cornerstone of IAS regulation 1606-202. Basically, when you are portraying the financial position of a bank in its annual report, you must make sure that that is portrayed accurately and you must avoid um, instances of overvaluing assets. You have an International Accounting Standards Board which is partly, private, uh, partly funded by banks, partly funded by the big four accountancy firms and partly funded by the European Union. In fact, I believe that the European Union has recently promised 43 million funding for the International Accounting Standards Board over the next couple of years. This organization was um, set up to ensure that banks were behaving consistently and that they had consistent accounting standards and that those accounting standards complied with the relevant laws. They were given a remit to produce accounting standards um, that complied with IAS regulation 1606 of 2002. It meant that for their standards to be adopted here in Europe, they must adopt the prudence concept. In other words, they cannot um, write accounting standards which delay the recognition of losses. Unfortunately, um, the um, architects behind the International Accounting Standards Board have decided that prudence no longer has a role to play in accounting and they devised accounting standards which um, allowed banks to delay the recognition of losses, or at least that's what they claim to have done. In reality, it is a, a legal issue. Um, they were not given the authority to change company law rules in that way. As you may be aware from company law, banks um, must never trade while insolvent or raise money while insolvent uh, because it is a fraud on either the shareholders or the people who lend money to them. And therefore, the accounting standards cannot encourage or allow people to delay the recognition of losses. This error has been going on since um, at least 2005 and perhaps earlier. It came to light in a number of UK banking inquiries in 2010. The International Accounting Standards Board um, promised to correct it and they introduced a new accounting standard to replace the existing accounting standard. That new accounting standard is called International Financial Reporting Standard Number 9. Um, and they gave a reassurance that um, banks would recognize losses uh, that they hadn't done before. However, if you read through that international financial reporting standard, there are a number of loopholes which once again allow banks to delay the recognition of losses. So it uh, remains a very serious problem today.